So here I am showing you how to mix paint using Floetrol. Um, for this first color, it was a little bit runny, so I'm not using as much Floetrol. I'm using about um, half and half, half paint, half Floetrol. Floetrol is an agent that you actually need more of than other um, pouring agents. Uh, it works actually really well for pouring paint. Um, in this video, you will see um, three different brands of paint. And then um, the first paint I'm using and the orange paint I'm using are both Anita's, but they are different types. This first paint is a metallic pearl type paint. And the other uh, one, which will be the orange, is a um, more of a just all-purpose paint. This here is actually an artist paint. This is Artist Loft. It is a bright green. And for this one, I will be using one part paint and three parts Floetrol. You will see here um, as I hold it up that it's a lot thicker than the other paint that I had mixed before it. The next two paints after this will also be a little bit more runny than the artist paint. Um, with this artist paint, it's going to take a lot longer to stir up, obviously. But again, you kind of want that consistency, though, that when you pull up your popsicle stick or your tongue depressor that it runs off of it smoothly you don't want any clumps you don't want it to drip heavily you want it to kind of run off smoothly but you don't want it to look like water either a lot of times I will um, prepare my paints I will mix my paints and let them sit for at least a couple hours, usually longer. That way any air bubbles that get in the paint as you're stirring have a chance to settle and uh, leave the paint. You want as few air bubbles in your paint as possible because it's, <clears throat> it's hard to get them out after it's already on the canvas. This um, color palette that I'm mixing here, I actually used for two different paints, paintings. Um, they were both on eight by 10 stretch canvas, level one stretch canvas. One was a dirty ring pour. The other one was a flip cup pour. Here, this orange again is um, one of the Anita's I get Anita's at Hobby Lobby and it is a little bit thicker than the first Anita's I used but not as thick as the Artist Way. They came out of the tube. You can get Artist Way paint anywhere that sells art, art supplies. With the orange I am using um, one part paint to two parts flow trowel. And it'll mix up a little bit better than the artist way did because it is a little bit um, of a thinner paint. You also, as you're stirring your paint, you want to make sure you scrape the sides of the container um, because your flow trowel and your paint will stick to the sides of the container and not get mixed up completely. Okay, and this last one is actually a craft smart paint which you get at michael's it's just a craft paint and with it i'm going to again use one part paint and two parts flow trawl these containers that i am mixing them in they are just snack containers that come with lids you can get them at walmart or you can order them from um, Amazon. 
I have a tendency to reuse them also. Once I've emptied one, I will wash it out and use it for another paint. The surface you see me mixing on is um, freezer paper. I use freezer paper a lot when I'm painting. I have it on the table. I also put it in the pans, the drip pans when I'm painting because when um, paint will dry, it will become a paint skin and it's easy to pull off of the freezer paper. As I was mixing, I realized I needed a little bit more paint. It's still a ratio of one to two. It wasn't enough to change the ratio. I don't ever actually measure. I eyeball it, but that's the way I cook also. I very rarely measure when I'm cooking. Again, I told you um, that I mix this paint to use on eight by 10 canvases. I had plenty left over after I used this paint on eight by 10 canvases. I would not use more than four colors on an eight by 10. That's the top you would use on that size. Anything smaller than an eight by 10, I would suggest not using more than three colors. So here we have it, almost monochromatic, three greens and an orange, and it's...